Hi folks, this is a bald guy, and these are Bald Guy Basics. Today I have a video for you guys, and it's something for you to consider in terms of saving money. Uh, yes, I'm the bald guy, but I still got to use one of these. It's just your typical disposable uh, multi-blade razor. I, I buy the three-blade razors. That gives me all the benefit of multi-blades without um, going nuts. But... If you're a shaver, I don't do the, the shave club various entities that are out there. I don't want to name any of them. I, I typically buy razors. If I buy a bulk pack, usually once a year, unless it's a really small bulk pack. Uh, if I go to Sam's and get those bulk packs with, you know, six or more, that's going to do me typically for a year. You heard that right. Six razors for a year. In fact... Last year, um, there's a little bit of a caveat to this. I keep one razor in the, at the sink. I keep another in the shower. Uh, no, I don't, I don't shave in both places on the same day. But on days that I shower, I use the one there. Um, and I have discovered, I was like everybody else for such a long time. You'd use one of these, and the first time you get them out of the pack, and you, you run it over your skin, you think, wow, what a great shave. And then... It seems no time at all. These stainless steel, surgical steel, you know, best technology we can produce blades are corroded. They're pulling skin. Now I use, on average, about four to five blades per year. Uh, that's in any one location. Uh, and and I, most of my shaving takes place in the shower. So I have to shave here and all the way around the back. And yeah, I got to hit it on top because as bald as I am, it's one of the most aggravating things in the world is for one hair to grow. And, it, and that one will grow a foot long, it seems, if you don't get it. What's the difference in my shaving technique and yours? Number one, shaving cream. Now, I make no scientific claims here. I just make a claim from my own observation. It is my opinion that the reason that, you know, if a company is interested in making blades, I've always wondered, why are they also interested in making soap or lather? And the, one of the things I learned before I stopped using shaving cream was, you know, I would shave across my face, hit it in the, you know, the, the, the traditional sink of water or even under running water, and I'd look at it. And between all of the blades, I had a tremendous amount of both shaving cream as well as the debris from my beard. I had a little skin irritation one day and a friend of mine asked me what was going on. And I said, I don't know. I think I might have an allergy to some of the ingredients in the shaving cream. Now that's neither here nor there, but he was ex-military and he said, I tell you what, stop using shaving cream. He said in the military, he was in the Navy and the SEALs. He said, we learned first thing not to use shaving cream. He said, just use whatever soap you use in the bathroom. And I started doing that. The second thing I learned, and, and that, let me elaborate on that. I learned that normal lather from just soap, and sometimes I use a liquid soap, and sometimes I'm, I use a bar soap. It doesn't stick to the blades. So conclusion number one, or suspicion, I guess, number one, I think that the reason that some of the big blade makers also make foam and lather is they formulate it to stick to the blades. Why would they want it to stick to the blades? So that the blades will get dull and you'll buy blades quicker. So, number one, uh, I stopped using lather. Number two, I remember one of those Ronco gadgets many years ago that was a little leather stropping wheel. It was an electric wheel that spun and you just stuck your razor on it and it would. it had these little flaps that would rub your blade. And the guy made the same point that I was kind of suspecting. These blades should not be dirty. They should, they should not be dull. And in fact, they're not dull, they're dirty. So you could use a piece of leather and just rub it sideways over here. But what I use is my washcloth. When I get into the shower, and of course it would be wet then, one of the first things I do don't go forward. If you want to go backwards, that's fine. But I just go sideways, back and forth, back and forth. And what I'm doing is allowing the nap on my washcloth to slide between these blades and to clean any debris off. I do it before I shave. 
I do it after I shave. Then I'm sure to, you know, just shake off all the water you can get off. I hang it in the shower. I'm done. No other secrets, no other tricks. And I find that blades last, I don't know the factor. If I were to say three times as long or five times as long, that is going to vary according to how, how thick your beard is and how often you shave. So for my purposes, this has allowed me, and, and I'll just be honest, uh, there are some weeks I don't shave, but you know, two or three times a week, something like that. It just depends on what my schedule is. But I have found that a pack of razors lasts me a tremendous time. So if you want to save money, and I, it's amazing how expensive these things get. I, I've, I played the game like everybody else. I had the, uh, the traditional, you know, permanent razor that you just bought cartridges for. And I was dismayed at, you know, when you're buying six cartridges for like 20 bucks, I'm like, come on. So uh, I started with the um, disposables and I was still, you know, razors just wore out far too quickly. But when I stopped using lather, I found that the blade lasted longer and a simple um, stropping my, my razor blades before and after a shave, before to make sure that all the debris is off of them, afterwards to make sure as much as possible doesn't sit on them between uh, shaves, between bathing, that kind of thing. So if you want to try that, and now I, I make no claim for you women, if you happen to be watching this, if this will work for your legs. Uh, but I'll tell you, it's not a bad thing to try uh, because it does maintain your blades. I guess one of the next things I want to do is, you know, in so many of my videos, I use little squares of leather for a, a ton of different things. I'm going to take one. I'll probably oil it a little, but I'll, I'll place it in the bathroom and use it to strop my blades rather than my washcloth and see if I get an even greater amount of improvement. So uh, I'm still recovering from the surgery. I, I still um, not wanting to get into anything where my head is bent over too very far for, for a long period of time. And I certainly don't want to get into any particulate just yet. So not really wanting to sand anything or uh, do anything like that. So this is one I've been wanting to do for a while. So you try me, tell me what you think. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, share this with your friends, leave us a like, leave us a comment. And of course you can find these videos also posted later over on the Facebook platform. If you share them, that helps us all. I'm the Bowel Guy and I wish you a wonderful day.